Just minutes ago, uh, we learned that the former president has filed another appeal in his hush money case. CNN's Kara Scannell is joining us uh, from New York with their new reporting. What can you tell us about this new filing, this latest filing, Kara? Yeah, well, if this latest filing is another attempt to appeal some of the rulings by Judge Juan Mershon, who is overseeing the hush money criminal case. In this new filing, Trump's attorneys are, ask, are going to the appeals court to challenge the judge's denial of their motion for uh, about presidential immunity. They wanted the judge to postpone the trial until the Supreme Court decides the issue of presidential immunity. The judge had denied that, saying it was untimely. It was too late before the trial for them to raise this. Uh, they also want to challenge him, his oversight of the case, saying that he should recuse himself from the case based on work his daughter does for a political firm that works for Democrats. Now, the judge hasn't actually formally ruled on that recusal war, um, ruling, but they're already taking this to, to the appeals court. Now, the documents are still Loading on the docket. But right now, what we could see before it was sealed was that they are asking for a hearing in May. Now, we did see the other day, earlier this week, they also filed a petition, but then made an emergency motion for it to go before the appeals court. That hasn't happened yet, but we're watching closely to see if they do try to bring this to the appeals court today to try to get a judge to stop the trial. It's not clear at this moment whether that is going to happen, uh, but because this is still unfolding. But it would be the third attempt this week for them to try to derail the trial scheduled to start on Monday. They earlier this week they tried to get a judge to stop the case so they could argue that there was too much pretrial publicity to have this case in Manhattan. That was denied. They also tried to stop the trial over a gag order that the judge put in place to limit what Donald Trump could say about witnesses, about the prosecutors and the judge's family. And about jurors in this case, that was also quickly denied. Uh, but, you know, this is now the latest attempt to try to throw sand in the gears of this trial now that we are just days away from jury selection starting on Monday. Now let's discuss this and more with our senior legal analyst, the former federal prosecutor, Ellie Honig. First of all, Ellie, what's your reaction to this latest Trump appeal to delay? Well, if I don't think Trump has much of a chance of either succeeding on this appeal or of using it to cause a delay in the April 15th trial start date. So the new issue that Trump is bringing up on appeal now, as Kara said, relates to his claim of presidential immunity. But first of all, there's a procedural problem, which is, as Kara said, too late. He was supposed to make this motion. And second of all, if you look at the substance of it, remember the crime here relates to hush money that was paid to Stormy Daniels before the 2016 election. So Donald Trump wasn't even president yet. Now, some of the reimbursements spilled over into the first weeks and months while Trump was president, but I don't think there's any way he has a realistic claim of immunity in this particular trial. As you know, Ellie, jury selection is scheduled to begin this coming Monday in the hush money case in New York. Is this appeal a measure of the Trump team's desperation to simply try once again, and they failed repeatedly, to delay, delay, delay? Well, we've been seeing that throughout the week, Wolf. As Kara noted, I think this is at least the third appeal in three days. You do see this sometimes. It's not uncommon to see a defendant in the days leading up to the trial itself try anything to derail the proceedings. This is taking it to a new level, perhaps a new low. I don't think Trump has any merit to these arguments. Again, he has missed his opportunity. There was a time to make these arguments. The fact that they're coming so late and so far after the deadlines, and they're all in this sort of emergency procedural stance, I think does speak to a certain level of desperation. I don't think it's taking hold. We haven't seen any of these last minute motions get any traction with either Judge Mershon or the appellate court. And I don't expect that to change in the coming days. I do wanna ask you about the uh, hush money trial because uh, for Donald Trump, I mean, this is happening in a few days from now. I mean, it's coming up on Monday. Yesterday an appeals court rejected his efforts to delay uh, the start. Um, and and I, I'm just curious, what do you think is, is going to happen next? I mean, what rabbits uh, can he still pull out of the hat? What cars does he still have up his sleeve? I mean, one of the questions I had in my mind, Karen, could he just not show up on Monday? I, I, I suppose he can't do that. Uh, but it, it, it kind of makes you wonder, what, what's he going to try next? 
Yeah, so many of us have been wondering, is he going to try to go to the Supreme Court and get a stay? Because 10 days from the start of the trial, they're hearing the presidential immunity uh, arguments, and that's already on an expedited basis. And he has also argued that there was presidential immunity in this case, too, mm -hmm. right, in this first election interference case. So so that is something he could still do, although the clock is ticking so that he, if he doesn't do that today or tomorrow, I, I think that gets foreclosed. And he has to show up in criminal cases. It's not like civil cases where you can just come and go or choose what you go to or not at all. Criminal cases, there are a lot of rights that attach during a criminal trial that a defendant has to be present for or explicitly waive. And so there, he will be required to attend. Uh, and so we'll see if, I, I don't think he's going to abscond as they say and not show right. up. He can, he's fairly easy to find. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and Karen, I mean, just to ask you a follow-up on that, you were just saying that per perhaps he could go to the Supreme Court. Could the Supreme Court somehow, the United States Supreme Court, somehow delay a New York hush money case? Is that, is that feasible? Is that they possible? Could. They, they could. absolutely oh. could. I mean, the, yeah, the, it's the Supreme Court of the United States, obviously, and and they are the Supreme Court of hmm. the land. And there's something called federalism, which means that that they can definitely um, put it, press pause if they wanted to. I don't think they will, because this is very different than the presidential immunity case that they are that they are um, hearing. That this particular case involves his personal life right although he was president when he wrote some of the when he wrote the checks uh, at the time that he was doing this he was candidate trump and he was trying to prevent this from going to the electorate so that's personal it's not presidential in nature but you never know so I, it's just one of the things that he could have possibly done he's been making motions all week trying to delay and he oh, keeps yeah. getting that that has not happened but we'll see if he if he does this yeah, I mean, it's everything. It, the, the kitchen sink, uh, the ketchup against the wall, everything, uh, you name it. All right, Karen, uh, thank you so much for your time this morning. We really appreciate it.